I'm principal of Queenwood School, which is an independent girls' school in Sydney. Mark and I met in mid-2015. There was a conference for heads of independent schools. 50% of our students are caught in related enrolment in college. And there were a whole lot of great presentations from a, a wide range of schools. But Mark's really stood out to me. Being principal of VC, I was going to encounter things that I never even thought of before. I think people are far too ready to write off a lot of these young people. Right our way in class. Education, they know deep down, is something that they want to have success in. Just remember, somewhere along the line, we're not just getting ready for HSC, we're getting ready for study when we leave here. My personal belief is that everyone will find something that will work for them when they're ready. Have a round of applause for Cam, please. What he's teaching the kids in his school is what we're teaching the kids in our school. Go! Go! Quick, but equally, he had very young teenage mothers, sometimes as young as 13 or 14, who, you know, they're, they're babies themselves, who have babies and are trying to parent when they've never been parented themselves. So, in our case, the girls typically come from stable homes, there is a, a whole lot of security in their lives, and there is really nothing in their future lives which they would come through as thinking, well, that's beyond reach. Uh, really tested about. But 70, the obligation kids, is to say, is how do I make yes. that available to the young people out there who are not getting it. Well, as you know, we're looking at the young mums. And then I remember just saying to him, how can my school help your school? Is that chummy and cute? Change your bum and mummy get your drink, And they came up with a, a large amount of money through a donor program. And uh, what it established is a mum centre and uh, the things that happen in there are amazing. We've got a speech pathologist who comes in to help the young kids. The children learn how to communicate better and helps the mums learn about that communication as well. To give you... Yeah, we did this last week. I'm 19 and I've been here at Kinderbury since September last year. I'm just going to rewrite my name on it. It's really nice. Gindabari is the traditional Aboriginal word for mum and baby safe place. Uh, this is my one-year-old son, Wyatt. Everyone's yeah. actually a bit blown away at his um, developments since being here. I try and visit the mum centre every day. It's a bit of time away from some of the challenges and it's like they're teaching me and I love that because that's what education's about. Knuckles, thank you. Five years from now those kids will be at school and they'll be champions within their schools and then when they have children, you know, in 20 years time from now, their kids won't ever know that it's not cool to go to school. You are. Kiss! <laughs> There we go, thank you. It is life changing for the mums, for the kids. Um, yeah, it's a very special place. I wanted our young people to connect with each other. This is not a relationship which is uh, based on one part of Australian society um, graciously donating abundant resources to another part. That's not the story at all. The real story is about the people connections. And, and, and what's powerful about it is what these girls on either side are, are learning from each other and about each other. And I think for the past four or five years, we've been doing this NBC trips. This afternoon, some of the NBC students are coming down from Kempsey and will be joining us for lunch. And we're also going to be doing a science class, building solar cars. 
and I just hope that we can ensure that they, they don't feel out of place here. Welcome. The school, it's bigger, <laughs> um, fancy. Oh, oh, yeah. That's what we like. Oh, yeah. Unscrewed that. At first, I was heaps nervous um, because usually I'm shy around people. Have you ever done anything like this before? No, I haven't. My first She's time. much better than me, I did, I think. Yeah. <laughs> With the wires, at least she could have been annoyed at me because there's a bit of a mess. When I got so, like, to know them, no, I don't know, I just felt like I knew them for ages. I think we've got the best one here, so I'm pretty happy with that. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say competitive. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to win. One, go! <laughs> I feel like I have more confidence with talking to people now, after that. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.